All right, once you go ahead and have all this data in there, you're going to go to second, stat plot, you're going to hit enter, plot one you want on, and then hit graph. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to change the window. Um, let's see, my x's go from 1 to 12, so I'll go from negative 1 to 13. My y's go from like 50 to 250, so I'll go from negative 1 to, uh, to 50, and I'll have that go by 50s. Alright, there we go. So there's our scatter plot. I want to find an equation that best matches this. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to, go to stat, go to calculate. You're going to go to a certain regression model. Now, this is a quadratic, this is a cubic function, you have linear functions of this form, etc. This is an exponential function. So this is what I'm going to hit. Enter. Now I want to input y1, so go to vars, go to y vars, function, and we're, we're working with the y1 function. Okay, hit enter. And this is our equation. So y equals a times b to the x power. This is our a, this is our b. Let's go ahead and write that down. Okay, so now all I have to do, we're looking for the year 2000, so I'm going to plug in 12. And I'm pretty confident you guys can all do this on your calculator, so I'll just tell you the answer is 308.2, which actually turns out to be an overestimation of what it actually was. All right, you guys go ahead and try this. Feel free to pause and rewind if you, I know there, was a, there were a lot of steps on the calculator with that. Um, feel free to pause and rewind if you need to. Actually, let me write down the steps here for you. All right, I wrote down the steps here. This is how you, uh, this is how you make your scatter plot, and this is how you find the equation of your scatter plot. So this is what we ended up with. <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, if you hit graph again, you'll see your scatter plot and you'll see your equation. You see how it's not perfect, but it's pretty it's as close as you can get with an exponential function. All right. So, go ahead and follow these steps and try it for for this problem. All right. These are the answers you guys should have gotten for these two problems. I'll box them. Okay. All right. What annual rate of growth can we inf infer from the exponential regression equation in example five? You know, I'm actually going to go back up here. I rounded to two decimal places, but it probably is more accurate to give a few more decimal places. Let's see here. It was, oh, that was four, six. Five six point four six nine six. I have it written down in front of me. You guys can't see it. I'm I'm not just doing this from memory. Don't worry. There we go. It's a little bit more accurate. Okay, so the annual rate of growth, um, if R is the annual rate of growth, we're gonna have. 1 plus r, and we're dealing with 10 year intervals. Okay? And this is going to equal approximately this. So 
So from here, we just have to solve for r. So I'm going to take the 10th root of both sides. And I'm going to subtract 1. To save room, I'm just going to do it this way. Let's pull out the calculator. Alright, so here's our calculator. The way you do a tenth root is like this. You're going to hit 10. Then you're going to go to math. Um, this one here with the x and then the square root, that's the one you want, 5. Alright, so 10 root 1.1519 minus 1. So the rate of growth is 0 0.014, etc. I'll just make it 0 0.014. Okay. All right, I want you guys to do the same thing with this problem. Go ahead. All right, this is the answer you guys should have gotten. All right, that's it.